I feel like such a, what would that be, word be? I feel like such a snob, a chainsaw snob. Yes, I bought a chainsaw. I pulled the trigger, spent $199.99 plus tax on a brand spanking new chainsaw. Didn't get a top handled saw. Got a standard one with the handle in the back. I can't wrap my mind around how these companies charge an extra $150, $200 just to have a different handle style. That's ridiculous. They're taking us for a ride. It's a conspiracy, I tell you. But there I was in Ace Hardware. I had my sights set on this one saw that I've read a lot of reviews on YouTube. I even read a review or watched a review rather, didn't read it, I read, watched it by an actual real tree guy, professional in the tree industry that bought the joke, bought the saw as a joke, you know, <laughs> it was cheap, so he just went and bought it. And a year and a half later, he's impressed by it, uses it professionally, you know, putting it to hard work. A year and a half, that's one heck of an investment for a sub $200 saw does a good job clamps shell engine you know not one that's easier to work on like a pro model but what the hey $199 what I like about it I am no longer embarrassed it's a cool little saw it is a steel MS 170 and you have to be careful it's easy to make sure the chain brake is on it's easy to flood it so I just warm it up by starting it on the ground and jamming my feet in there because it doesn't have a trigger lock like a lot of saws do but it's a really easy starting little saw just don't try to start it at full choke and keep pulling and pulling because you have flooded it by that point some features of this little saw one feature would make it good in the tree as well as on the ground when you're humping around the woodlands looking for trees that would make good bow stays. You want to haul around, you know, that extra weight? Or do you want like this little very thin curve? It's a very thin curve, so it's efficient cutting. Probably about 10 pounds, plus or minus. 8.6 pounds, just a power head, and I can't believe this little 16 inch bar weighs that much. It has Two studs, unlike a lot of climb saws, it's just one, two studs. It does have the center screw for, or that screw that runs along the bar for adjusting the chain, chain tension, but I don't mind that. Uh, another feature, I love these gas caps. Now my Huskies, they jam up, they're almost inset. And the, chain, the bar oil cap, I don't know why, they always like tighten on their own. So I have to whack them with something metal to get them off or use the scrunch in there. But these things are big, they're grippy, full size filler holes. Decent controls, they're all back here. And this is tricky right here, lock and unlock. You just put your scrunch in there, turn it, and you can pop that cover off without having to like undo bolts. It's a really nice little saw. And the more I lug it around and use it, the more I like it. And will it last? You know, I don't know. Not as long as my 288, which is like almost 20 years old and has thousands of hours on it. But I paid a little bit more for that. All in all, the conclusion is, yeah, I spent money I really didn't have, but I'm pleased as punch to have this sharp little thing. The nice thing, too, is 16-inch bar. A lot of the climb saws I was considering had 14 inch. The little one's 12 inch, you know, so this is four better than a 12 inch and two better than a 14 inch. It's math. Doesn't have like real dogs, but you know, you can dig in far enough for that. And it, let's face it, it doesn't have the horsepower to like, with the dogs on each side, jam it in there and just muscle your way through the trees. Yep. Haven't had it a year and a half, but so far, I'm loving me some MS-170. That is all. It should be enough.